just been kicked out of my own interrogation room. Do you want some coffee, sir? No, Randy, what I want is that ATF punk to eat crow. Well, we know who did it, and we know why. We just don't know how. Oh, and again, he's in a coma, Monk. He's the guy. Monk, I got 20 seconds. 20 seconds, and that Agent Grooms comes walking out that door and asks me what I think. Give me something else, for God's sake. Okay, wait, I have an idea. Maybe he had an accomplice. Yeah, somebody else mailed the damn thing for him. Why not? I already have that idea. Tell him. It was no accomplice. Why would Brian Babbage hire one? He didn't know he was going to be in a coma. Right, it's not exactly something you can plan. Anyway, why would an accomplice bother to go through with it? There's no reason to. The guy who hired him's in a coma. All right, so Brian built the bomb. And then Brian mailed the bomb by himself. You got it. Well, he was in a coma. You got to admit, it's a pretty good alibi. It's rock solid. Monk, I have known, oh, 15,000 criminals in my lifetime. Here's what they all have in common. They're conscious. Uh, side out in there. I work better one-on-one. -on -one. So, uh, how's it look? He's bending, but not breaking. I'll get him. About to write up my uh, crime report. I'm going to list him as my primary. You'll sign off on that, right? I'm thinking... Maybe it's the other brother. Well, there's only one other brother, and he's in a coma. That's the one. I think, uh, I think we should look into him. He's a vegetable, Captain. I know. Don't you think that eliminates him as a suspect? Yeah, I'm just curious. How do you think he did it? We're still working on that. Yeah. Well, good luck with that. You keep me informed. I'll keep you in the loop. Yeah. <laughs>